Welcome back to my channel. My name is Winter. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe, or don't, it's your life. I'm just glad you came over to this side of the internet to spend a couple of minutes with me. Thank you. In today's video, we are going to be talking about setting your financial goals. Set your goals. If you aren't familiar, we are on a six month wealth building journey. We are going to be saving $10,000. $10,000 in six months. Yes, that is $10,000 in 26 weeks. That means for every single week, we're going to save, we're going to save $385. I'm going to be following this chart. And that means every week for the next 26 weeks, starting on November 13th, 2020, I will be saving $385. And I hope that you will be joining me. So, I want to talk about how you set your goals before you start to acquire more wealth. Remember, I am calling this a journey, not a challenge, because money is not challenging. Attracting money is not challenging. Saving money is not challenging. Earning more money is not challenging. It's all a mindset and it's all a belief. Okay, I am not here to play around with nobody. I actually decided to go on this journey publicly because I've done it a lot of times. Um, and <sighs> you just get tired. Like you just get tired of like the the like. I don't know. I just get tired of just like the the BS videos. I get tired of the like how to save this much money in two weeks. And then it's like a ten minute video that like doesn't tell you how to do it at all. Or it's a video with a person. And again, hey, not our business. We don't know them. They don't really know us. But they're not really showing you numbers or like getting into their specifics. So you kind of feel like, how do I not know this person just, you know, already has this much wealth and constantly has this much wealth. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I have to show you guys like starting with, you know, zero dollars. Um, if you have a job, even if you don't, and you're just getting unemployment or things like that, like how you can begin to teach yourself discipline because that's why I started saving money in the first place like you know I've all I've always practiced like saving money and I started when I was really young um that's just something that my grandparents just taught me to do very very young and what I understand now um you know is that your finances are a mindset they're not really the tangibles your finances are more about the intangible things than they are about the tangible things. And that's why you have to do things like setting your goals before you even think about trying to save a dollar. Now, when I'm talking about saving your goals, I don't want you to think I'm talking about just monetary and financial goals. No. When I decided for the first time that I was going to save $10,000, I decided that my number one goal was I wanted to become disciplined. My first goal when I started to save money in large quantities like this, $10,000 was I want to be disciplined. I was happy to save the money, but I wanted to be disciplined. And having to save $10,000 in six months, it wasn't something that I think I would have achieved if I hadn't became disciplined. And it was putting away the same amount of money or sometimes more and sometimes less. Listen, we'll talk about that. Every You got to take it day by day, week by week, month by month. I want you to understand that if you are joining me on this journey, first of all, we're going to do this. But if you're joining me on this journey, it's okay. Like, it's okay if one week you can only save $200, save the $200. The, the true point of this journey is not for you really to save the money. It is to acquire the intangible thing, which is discipline, right? You can't, you can't buy discipline in the store. You can't try on discipline and take it off. Discipline is something you have to learn. It's something that is intangible. It is something that just becomes a part of who you are. So that's why I even saved $10,000 for the first time in the way that I did because I said, I just want to become disciplined. And it wasn't even about, I want to be disciplined about money. I want to be disciplined. No, I just wanted to be a disciplined person. 
right? So that was my number one goal. So when I'm asking you to set your goals, when, when I am advising you and advocating for you to set goals before you even try to start saving the money, I don't want you to make your goals all monetary. They can be, they can all be, but my goals, they mostly weren't. Um, like I said, my first goal was I wanted to become disciplined. That was like my top, most important, underline, 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 bolded, everything. I wanted to become disciplined. My next goal was I wanted to have better time management. I know, what? I'm saving money and I'm talking about time management. Yes, because as I've mentioned in previous videos, I work from home and I also live at home. Um, what I mean by living at home is I do not live in my own house. I live in my family house, um, which I'm extremely grateful for, praise God. Like, I praise God that we have a large home that is, this is no problem for me. I am very comfortable, very comfortable, 23, living at home, very comfortable, very happy, very blessed, praise God. But um, I say all that to say that I understood that if I could be more efficient with my time, I could earn more money and also I could dedicate more time to learning better money management skills. But see, I didn't want to become, you know, I didn't want to become more efficient just because of the money. I just wanted to become more efficient because I also knew when I became more efficient, I could complete my goals faster and I could dedicate more time to learning a new skill and a new, um, a new, a new talent. And maybe that was something that I could monetize or maybe it was something that just helped me understand how to better manage my money. So set your goals, be firm in your goals and don't make your goals all be centered around money. Because as I've said plenty of times, it's not the money you want. It's the things that the money can uh, buy you per se. When you have financial security and financial freedom, you have peace. When you have financial security and financial freedom, you have a different kind of mental wellness, right? You feel you feel more clarity. You you feel you feel more calm in your life. You feel more abundant in your life, and you feel like whatever is happening can be okay because you know if it really gets down to it, you have the money to do what you have to do. And that's something that I really want you guys to focus on when you think about setting your goals. Set your goals in such a way where these goals go beyond the money. These goals become lifestyle changes. That's what my goals were. My goals that I set the first time that I um save ten thousand dollars they weren't focused on the money they were about changing my mindset and changing my lifestyle because i understood that money is an energy so i wasn't going to attract more if i didn't if i didn't change my mindset i wasn't going to be able to retain more and keep more and give more and, and and spend more and bless more and be more abundant you know if i didn't change my mindset and if i didn't set goals so set your goals be firm in them and don't center your goals around money. That's all I'm saying because my goals, my goals were about changing my lifestyle. One of my goals was even waking up earlier. Literally, I was like, all right, I want to be like the moguls. I'm going to do what the millionaires do, what they do. They get up at 5 a.m., copy. I'm going to get up at 8. You're bugging. I'm not getting up at 5 a.m., but I did get up at 8 a.m. every day. You know, like... I did things like that because I knew if I started to change my habits, if I started to change my mindset, if I started to train myself in such a way where I felt this is how I'm going to attract more abundance into my life, this is how I'm going to become more disciplined, this is how I can gain a better understanding and clarity on finances, then this is what I'm going to do. Set your goals. Do not make your goals all centered around money and stand firm in them. I really hope that you were able to receive today's message. My name is Winter. I just want to let you know one more time, if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Or don't. It's your life. I'm just glad you came over to this side and I can spend some time with me.